Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see question from June 2016 consisting of 4.75 marks. This is a very simple question, right? They are asking, let f of x belongs to z of x be a polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 2. Then pick each correct statement from below. Then they are asking, if fx is irreducible in zx, right? Then it is irreducible in qx as well. Second option is if fx is irreducible in qx, then it is irreducible in zx, right? So uh, let us first see these two options. So uh, there's a result known as Gauss lemma for irreducibility. There's uh, what they say. They say if we have any non-constant polynomial, then that polynomial is irreducible in zx if and only if it is irreducible in qx. Moreover, it should be primitive polynomial in Zx. That what, what do you mean by primitive polynomial? That means the GCD of all the coefficients of this polynomial is equal to 1. So they are saying if it is irreducible in Z, that implies it is irreducible in Q as well as it is primitive in Z. Now, uh, the other way around, if these two conditions are there, then it is irreducible in Zx. So accordingly, in question, they have not mentioned anything about primitive, right? The whether the polynomial is primitive or not. So we cannot say any, anything about this option. Uh, now the first option says fx is irreducible in zx. This is given to us. If fx is irreducible in zx implies both these conditions are true. So in particular, this condition is also true, right? Therefore, option A is the correct option. This is the correct option. What about option B? They are saying fx is irreducible in uh, q of uh, x, but uh, nothing is known about primitiveness. Therefore, this option is incorrect according to Gauss lemma, right? So now let us look at the third option. They are saying if f of x is irreducible over zx, then for all primes p, uh, just uh, note, they are saying for all prime p, the reduction f bar x of f of x modulo p is irreducible in f p x. So now do not confuse it with um, integer modulo irreducibility test. Uh, that test is something different, right? Now they are saying the polynomial is irreducible over z x, but uh, then it should be irreducible in f of p for all prime p. So in order to see whether this result is true or not, you just find an example where this thing is true, but this doesn't. That means you need to find a prime P such that the second condition does not hold, right? So let us have a look at uh, one polynomial, right? This is for option number C. We have this polynomial x square plus x plus one. Now you clearly see that this polynomial when we, uh, this is a quadratic polynomial, when we try to find its root, they are complex roots, right? And they obviously do not belong to the this set of integers. Therefore, this polynomial in Zx, right? This is an irreducible polynomial. Moreover, we need now, we need to check it for some fpx, right? Where uh, it should not, it should be reducible. So we need to find that P for which the given polynomial in this uh, ring, right? It should be reducible. So uh, I have chosen this P to be three. Uh, uh, so you see that we, uh, our FPX, it becomes Z3 and it only has elements, three elements, zero, one, and two, which are the equivalent classes, right? So when you reduce this polynomial into uh, mod three, right? That means you'll reduce the coefficients. The coefficient here is one, the coefficient here is one, and again here it is one. So when you divide one by three, you'll get the remainder as one. So this is as such. Again, when you divide one by one, so this is also as such, and this is also as such. So this is the reduced polynomial, which is the same as uh, the given polynomial, right? No problem with that. But now we need to see whether this polynomial, this is reducible or irreducible in Z3 or not. So because the degree here is 2, degree of this polynomial here is 2. So we have a result for any polynomial with degree 2 or degree 3, 
uh, if we find a root of that polynomial we'll say it is reducible otherwise not so for root we can only check for these numbers because they are the only members in z3 right so we'll go for f of 0 f of 0 comes out to be 1 which is not equal to 0 mod 3 therefore this is not a root we'll check for 1 so when you substitute 1 in place of x into f bar x you will get 3 so now when you divide 3 by 3 you will get the remainder as 0 right so obviously this is a root of f bar x in z3 right so now that means this polynomial f bar x this is uh, this has a root in z3 so this implies this polynomial is reducible in z3 so uh, you saw the condition they were saying for all prime it should be irreducible but we find p is equal to 3 for which it is reducible in f p is x therefore this option is incorrect let us come to option d in option d they are asking if f x is irreducible in z x then it should also be irreducible in r x right so uh, here also we need uh, if we are able to find an example for which the first condition holds but the second doesn't we are done and the option would be incorrect if we are not able to find such an example that means this condition is true right let us have a look so here we can consider this polynomial x square minus 5 now this polynomial is irreducible in zx because it does not have any root in zx right any root which belongs to integers but clearly you see that you saw that this polynomial has roots plus or minus square root of 5 and these plus uh, plus square root of 5 and minus square root of 5 they are the real numbers right so therefore this polynomial fx is equal to x square minus 5 has a root in rx it implies that it is reducible in rx so we saw it is reducible in zx but it is irreducible in rx therefore uh, this option is incorrect therefore the only correct option is option number a well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.